So Brett, good to see you today. I know you're a busy guy. Uh, thanks for making the time to enjoy a glass of wine with me and to share, you know, just to share uh, your experiences and, and um, hopefully we get some great tips from you as well today regarding, um, you know, what entrepreneurs should do out there to become successful. So thank you very much. Great, nice to be here. <laughs> so tell, tell us a little bit more about, you know, what you do. So I am one of the partners in a, in a venture capital fund. Some people are familiar with that term, but uh, loosely in South Africa it means we find young businesses that have the potential to become global successes um, and we help them on their journey. So we, we do a, an assessment of the, the things that the, their strengths and their weaknesses and we look for those ones that have um, some really strong strengths, if I can put it that way, and the ones that have the ambition and the characteristics that make them at least stand a strong chance of being able to get onto the global stage, state a claim and hopefully build a business that makes some good money and makes them uh, something that we as South Africans can be proud of and ultimately not only for the entrepreneurs and the, the country but also for shareholders that everybody makes money out of it and uh, again we get more entrepreneurs who can then go out and do the same. So Brett, I'm I mean, you also an entrepreneur. I mean, you started somewhere. Uh, you, you obviously have a passion for uh, entrepreneurs as well. How, where did it all start for you? So I, I, I took one of the, you know, the slightly different routes in that you get many guys who jump out of high school and immediately they're, you know, building their own businesses. I've always been doing things alongside. So I've held just about any job I can think of, you know. I mean, everything from in high school uh, as a, a runner. I mean, I was too young to be a waiter, so I, I started as a runner. I worked as a cashier. I sold gear locks. I sold skateboard parts, you know. And all the way through till um, later on in life when I was holding down a regular corporate job um, and within sort of the banking sector and that I, I kept investing into things on the side and very often learning some very expensive lessons. And I, and I often tell people, you know, I've paid off my house, you know, taken money out of the bond, I have a very understanding wife, taken money out of the bond, invested in, into a different business, you know, and um, watched and seen. And, and each of those, those times learned more and more lessons. And I think that's what this game is about. It's about experimenting and learning what works and making sure that you know, you carry those lessons with you because I think that's one of the things too many people miss is it's okay to fail, but it's, you know, you have to actually make sure you understand why. Um, and so my, I've always had that passion for, for, you know, getting involved with young businesses, but I'm, I don't see myself as necessarily the big ideas person, but I've, I like to help those people with the ideas. So I like to help with the implementation, making sure that, you know, that next step is achieved. Um, a little bit more about you, Brett. I mean, do you cook at home at all? Uh, you know, do you like, what do you like? A good steak, some red wine? Do you have I, time for that? I love my, uh, my red wines and that. I'm a, I'm a total wine pleb. I, so I, I attempt to keep my, my wine rack full, but I, I knew the day that when I went to one wine competition and the one that I said, sure, this specific wine, it's, for me, it's the worst out of the bunch. That was the one that won. I knew then that, that I must just stick to enjoying it and not necessarily trying to either make it or describe it. So I love to have a wine, and especially in Stellenbosch, you can't help but, uh, you know, we, we have wine farms around every corner. Um, and I, but I enjoy all sorts of food. So I love, I love a good steak, I love seafood. Anything that's got a good, strong flavor, I'm game for. Uh, Brett, and then finally, your recipe for success. I would think that this is, you know, we, we all have uh, amazing similar ingredients. I think the recipe each of us is going to make up as we go along and I think everybody's journey is a little bit different. So for me it's, it's very much about those ingredients and I think it's, it's about resilience. And I think fundamentally that's one of the, the most important things because we're going to get knocked down a lot and we're going to experience many difficulties and many obstacles. And for me, an entrepreneur is somebody who has the resilience to get up again, even if it's the 10th time, understand why and move on. And not sit there going, woe is me, look, I got knocked down. 
And I think if you can have that, almost anything else becomes possible. And then I think secondly, if you have the ability to, to understand your shortcomings and your strengths, work on those strengths and find ways to build in either through other people or just through the, the willingness to learn. Um, you know, the, that's one of the, 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 the characteristics that defines someone. And Because a lot of people go, I'm not a this. It's like, well, you know what, try. Learn about it. You don't have to be the best at that. And very often people are amazed at what they're capable of. Everything else, you know, finding something that you're passionate about, finding something that you, that you can work in, all of that will come together. But if, you just, if you're resilient and you're willing to learn, I think you've actually got everything you need to go out there and find what will make you happy and what will fulfill your definition of success, not somebody else's. Brett, thank you very much. Once again, I know you're a busy guy, so thanks for making time. I really enjoyed having a chat with you. Cheers. Thanks. Cheers. Thank you.